Hey, welcome to episode number two of Burgers and Dogs Across America. I'm going to be your host. I'm A.B. Let's get it. Okay, so before I go ahead and uh, start going over the ingredients, right, let me just tell you what we're doing. Listen, we're going to be doing an Oklahoma burger, right? So check it out. Let me go ahead and turn on my propane. All right. Obviously, I'm going to be using my Blackstone, you know, my griddle. I turn them all on high, hit my button. I heard them all light. I can look down in between here. I can see they all on. I'm going to start off on low. We just want to get a little fire. Now, coming back to my, you know, my ingredients. I want you guys to look. It looked like it's a lot of stuff right here. These are my gloves. You know what I mean? These can come off, right? But this is what you're going to need. Onion, and this is going to be key right here, the 80-20. This is what keeps the patty nice and juicy. Now, I am going to smash this. I get a lot of questions in the, you know, a lot of uh, questions in the uh, in the comments and people are asking me like, hey, I was told you're not supposed to smash. You're not, you don't smash a hot one, a hot patty, you know, when it's nice and juicy, right? Cause you're pushing all of the fat out. We gonna smash it in within like the, after like the first 10 or 15 seconds while all of the fat is still inside of the patty. And I'm gonna show you how we get down. Okay, here are some fun facts about the Oklahoma onion burger, right? It's also known as the Oki burger or a fried onion burger. Now the burger is said to be, have been invented in the 1920s at a hamburger inn in El Reno, Oklahoma during the Great Railroad Strike of 1922. Now listen, the owner, Ross Davis, wanted to keep the prices down during hard times, so he added lots of cheap and plentiful onions to the patties, you know, to stretch the beef. Now, the burger became so popular that people could smell it and started walking up and everybody was requesting it at the walk-up window. Right, so this is how this series worked, right? So listen, I'm gonna go ahead and keep it true to the game and make it just the way they make it in Oklahoma, right? Now, if you guys pay attention to these ingredients down here, all of this over here, that, uh, the pickles is good, you know, my seasoning and all of that. That's what I'm gonna do to level up the burger, you know, on my own, right? But if we gonna keep it true, we gotta have the pickles, you gotta have the onion, right? And then again, you gotta have 80-20. Now, if you guys pay attention, I got a little scale right here, right? So I had a gentleman, I'll put his comment on there. Listen, he kept it real, telling me how to do it, how to do it, you know, and do it justice. So we gonna go ahead and measure our patties. We gonna do something about anywhere between six to 10 ounces. You know what I mean? It's up to me on how big I want that patty to be. Okay, so look, I'm gonna ask you to come around on this side right here. I'm gonna take this off. Listen, I'm using a mandolin. Obviously, you don't have to use a mandolin. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, a lot of people, you know, a mandolin got a bad name. So I got mine set at a certain thickness, right? So the key is when you're doing an Oklahoma burger, you wanna get thin slices and you want them to be uniform, right? So my hand is protected. Obviously, I'm on top. I'm using the safety mechanism that they gave me. Pull, pull, pull. Now I'm gonna stop it right there. Let's go ahead and look at this right here. I wanna just show you how crucial it is and just to show you this, look. You see how that is? Look how thin those are. And they just break up into like nice little onion rings. If you guys don't have one of these, I'll leave a link somewhere, you know what I mean? Uh, like I say, they get a bad name, you know, get a bad rap because some people have hurt themselves. But I promise you, if you hurting yourself, that means you was cheating and you wasn't using the safety mechanism. All right, so again, just so you guys can see, you gotta love using the mandolin. Now some of y'all, y'all got them skills, you know what I mean, with that knife, you know what I mean, you got that blade. I'm gonna say this, some of y'all been on that yard and that shank is right, not for real. But listen, this right here is what you wanna have. Then if you wanna cut them, you can cut them in halves, however. But I'm gonna leave them like this for these onion rings. I'll break some open just to show you. But that right there is what you wanna get. All right, so now we are finna take a look at this meat, right? I've already told you it was 80-20. Listen, I ain't gonna lie to you. For those, you know, for those of you guys that can even get 70-30, that'd be great too. You know what I mean? Uh, you just want it to be as juicy as possible because fat equals flavor, folks. Now, I'm gonna show you like this. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on, right? And what we wanna do is, I see it, it could be anywhere between six to 10 ounces. Let's just make them 10 ounces a piece, right? So this is what we're gonna do. All right, so what we wanna do is we wanna get a little bit of this right here. And this is key. A lot of times you guys don't see me doing this. You know what I mean? I be just eyeballing making these videos, but this is the right way. You know what I mean? This is how you can get your patties to be uniform, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and stick this down here just like this. Right, we wanna make sure this is on ounces, right? Which it is, it's on ounces. Right now it says 4.5, you know? So we're gonna add just a little bit more to it. 
see where we at now. We have five. Let's go to six ounces. I think six is going to be good. If I make it uh, 10 ounces, it's going to be a nice, big, thick, you know, burger. So that's a 675. We take some of this off. 615. 570. 590. There we go. That's close enough for me. All right, so now I take it, and what I'm doing is I'm just forming a ball. I'm not compacting it. You know what I mean? You still want it to be a little bit on the loose side, even though we're going to press it. You know what I mean? But that right there is a nice size burger. Don't forget, we're going to get a little shrinkage. Remember, it's 20% fat. So we'll just take this, leave it like that. I'll set this out here, and then I'm going to make one more. Okay, so both of them are the exact same size. Again, I'm going to take it. Just gonna form a ball, roll it a few times in my hand. You know what I mean? Not to like, I'm not really squeezing it like that. You can actually look at it. You can still see the way it was ground. You see that? That's fine. I just want it to stick. All right, so we take that, that off. We set that one there. Okay, so this is just about up to temp, right? So what I wanna say is, what makes this an Oklahoma burger is, it's just the fact that, check this out. It's the simplicity of it also. That doesn't really do it. But we only gonna be putting onions on there. Now, let me go ahead and just put this here like that. I give it a little bit of space because I'm gonna go ahead and use my press and I'm gonna, you know, smash it down. Now, we not losing no flavor in the inside of that. This is what I mean when I say we gonna go ahead and, uh, you know, flatten it, right? So now, I'm gonna take my press, right? I just wait about 10 seconds, something like that. Since I put that one down first, look at this right here. We put this here. Right, I kind of like move it around and then I give it a little bit of a twist and I slide it out like this. Now you guys know how to use a press, right? I don't want to push it down no more because now it's going to start heating it up and cooking it and that's what's going to keep it juicy. And then I do the exact same thing here. Press, right? I kind of like move it around in circles, give it a little shimmy like that. I start pulling it back this way. And that right there are the burgers. Now, here's the thing. Remember we cut the onions and they was nice and, you know, thin and all of that. I'm just opening some of these up just so you guys can see. It depends on how you make them. You're supposed to put them on here like this, right? And what we're going to do is let these steam, you know, and cook, right? I kind of like push them down a little bit in there, but this is fine. Some people put them on top of the ball, you know, your, bat, your meatball, and then they just smash them down that way. But you know what? I'm going to try to make these as close to possible as I can, right? Just give it a little bit of salt on the top. Just like that. I love using my grinder. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a heads up, right? So, if you take your bun, let's just say I take them like this, and I put it on top of there, right? We gonna let the heat and everything steam and put that flavor in these buns. Listen, nowhere else are you gonna get these pro tips, folks. Just put them in there like that. Trust me when I tell you. And then whatever juices it, you know, absorb, we gonna take that, put it on the griddle, and then we gonna toast, folks. So like, like letting them be on here for about maybe three, about three minutes. Then I put them over here, right? And what I wanna do is I just wanna toast them. Trust me, you're talking about leveling up your buns to another level, that's it right there. Now it's time to flip. Okay, so look, now that I'm getting ready to flip, the objective is to flip this and put the burger on top of the onions, right? So, we got it like this, now we just, that's what you want. You don't want them all over on the side and nothing like that. So we wanna clear it out, make sure nothing was, was sticking. Now that we have it, bring it this way and flip. That's it right there. And you see that crust right there? I know y'all saying, damn, he didn't make enough of these, but don't trip. All right, so now, look at that right there. Yes, sir. Let's look at this. That's what you want. Nice and soft here. Woo! Crispy right there, infused with that onion and that beef. Come on, y'all. All right, so now, what I decided to do was, I think I'm gonna take one of those. I'm gonna make one just like normal. And then I'm gonna make one for myself, right? This is how I would do it. Of course, it's gonna start with a little bit of this mayo, right? Right, we're gonna add a little W sauce to it. What I'm doing now is making my own burger sauce. This is not traditional. We just put this in there like that. 
We're gonna use a little ketchup. Right. I'm gonna put some of my burger seasoning in there. Right, don't need much. We that's just enough right there. And then you know what? I cannot do anything without having my Mount Olive. You know what I mean? These are my salad cubes. I like to see my relish. You know what I mean? I like that texture that it gives it too. Now I'm gonna give it a give it a little whirl. Only thing missing now is my my mustard. I look at that right now and just tell you, we gotta get a little mustard in there. And that right there is a burger sauce for your your back. <laughs> I'll just say that, folks. Right. Then if I taste it. That's right on the money. All right, so let's check them. That's good, that's good, right? So I'm gonna take this one, keep it more traditional, put that on the top like that. This one here, I'm gonna take, nah, let's just leave it right there. You know what I think I'll do? As I just, should I get all of the onions with it? You know what I mean? We'll just put this one here and leave it by itself just for one second. Now I'll take this one and put it over here on my cutting board, right? Look at that right there. All right, now we take that. We bring this one over here. This is the one we're gonna keep it a little bit more true to it, right? We'll center it up over the bun, slide him out just like that. And there you have it, folks. An Oklahoma, Oklahoma burger. Now I might've said that a little bit too much, pre, you know, premature, right? We're gonna go ahead and add these on here just like that, folks. Now y'all let me know down in the comment section below. Do you do bread and butter or do you guys like deal? All right, so here, so for myself, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on just like this. Now I like a lot of sauce. This is for me. Now remember, this ain't the way they do it. This is the way I would do it to level up. You know what I mean? Uh, hey, and just all the way down to that toasting, that right there, that's fire too. So giving you guys a little bit of these gems, you know, as I, you know, I think of them to put them in these videos, right? So. I like pickles, y'all. I know some of y'all saying you don't like pickles. Then we got some that don't even like bread and butter. Check this out. We even got some people that don't like bread and butter and can't even tell you what bread and butter uh, pickles taste like. They just hear the name bread and butter and they can't, they just can't fathom it. But you see this right here? That's how I get down. Now, I always say, if and when you put your burger together and then ain't not got no sauce coming off of it, something ain't right. So when you bite it and it ain't making no mess, you did something wrong. Now, when I push it down like that, I like to be able to see it on the side. There you go, that's it right there. And that's mine, and this is more traditional. Okay, folks, so listen, I done already took some pictures of this. Listen, my mouth been watering the whole time, right? This one right here got my name on it because it got that sauce, right? Don't forget, we got them onions underneath the bottom. We just kind of like slow cooked it, got, gave it a chance to put that patty on the top and let those onions, you know, go ahead and cook and steam inside of that meat too, right? That right there is key. Now, keeping it close to the Oklahoma burger, this is the way they serve it. You know what I mean? With the pickles, no cheese. You know, cheese is optional. If you want it, you can put add it on there. You know what I mean? Then you got your patty, and then I put the toasted bun. It's the simplicity and how we did it that just gives it the flavor that takes it over the top. Now, I feel like I'm over talking, folks. I'm finna go ahead and, ah, I'm gonna go ahead and hit this one right here. You see that right there? Ooh, my goodness, folks. Check it out. Cheers. Mm. I don't know what to tell y'all folks. <laughs> this right here is fire. There's so many rights in this. You know what I mean? Let's just talk about how we came up to these great tasting burgers, right? For one, the fact that we didn't pack it all in when I made the balls, right? That's where that's the key. I think a lot of people when they're making hamburgers and not doing that stuff at the house, when they make them, they're making these dense patties and they cook dense and then you got this chewy, ah. Uh, remember I showed you guys, you can see where it was ground like through the package. That's what you want. You want it nice and loose. Salt and pepper works, right? You guys see me do briskets and all that other stuff like that? Listen, salt and pepper is the flavor that you need. Now you can level that up, but if you want to taste it and keep it true, salt and pepper. Now, onions is right. The toasted buns is right. You know what I mean? Uh, some of y'all know I like to get down with that mayo on there and do all that. But this time I wanted to keep it like that so I can taste everything. 
Listen, the flavor, I promise you, is second to none. Now, I hope you guys like this series. Now, let's talk about next week. I can tell you this, we're going to do a dog. And guess what? It's from the Windy City. Now, with that being said, I'm going to take this time to say, if you're new to my channel, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And you know what I'm about to do, folks. Woo-wee! I'm out. Peace.